right, welcome back to the Dragsters and Transmissions YouTube channel, viewers. Uh, got a 96 Honda Civic two-door. It's got 147,000 miles on it. Um, the owner actually lives close by, and it was explained to me that the uh, battery doesn't hold a charge and it seems to uh, die every couple days she goes to get in it and uh, it won't start and uh, she had mentioned this to me before and then yesterday I had the time to uh, see what was going on and I discovered uh, when I put a voltmeter on the battery it was down to seven roughly seven and a half volts she's put several batteries in this car and she was telling me about it before and i was like well i don't know do i look at it so i grabbed the voltmeter checked it it was at seven and a half volts and i quickly found that the car has an aftermarket stereo in it and this is for the amp i have not located the amp i'm just assuming it's underneath the seat or in the trunk somewhere doesn't matter because I disconnected both battery cables and, of course, cleaned the post, cleaned the cable ends, and just left the power wire for the amp disconnected. And left the cables off the battery, checked it again with the voltmeter, voltage was starting to come back up slowly. So I put the cables on, jump started the car, it fired right up, started running good. At that point, I decided to take it for a test drive, see what was going on. And every time the I'd give it some gas and to go quicker, go faster, the car would try to stumble and just fall on its face. So I said, well, okay, I'm not going to be driving this car very far because of that issue. I don't want it to stall out on me. And then i would be stuck on the side of the road because then you got a tow bill. So... Turned the car around, brought it back, put it in the shop here, and I said, well, checked a few things. You know, she doesn't want to put a lot of money in the product, in the car. She's actually considering selling it. And I was like, well, okay. So I thought, well, let's start with your normal spark plugs. She probably hadn't had spark plugs put in this thing in many, many years. So let's start there. Now. Any of you Honda guys that are watching this video, you already know what I'm about to do with the spark plug wires. So, common problem is this one's dry. This one's got oil on it. This one's got a lot of oil on it. So three out of the four, because I've already checked, uh, three out of the four, I'm just going to let that sit there, uh, have oil. Now, you got your spark plug tubes, you know, and then you have the valve cover seals. So um, you have your valve cover gasket and then you have your valve cover seals. And uh, comes in a kit, you know, you buy it, you take the valve cover off, clean it up, get it ready, install your new seals, put it all back together. That eliminates the oil getting into the spark plug tubes. So, uh, she doesn't know if she wants to fix it. Like I said, she's thinking about selling it. And there you have it. So, This video is just kind of like an update video on what I'm working on in the shop, what I found. And if you have a Honda, uh, you might want to pull your spark plug boots out and see if you have any uh, leaky tube seals. Because it might be time to fix it, replace it. She did not know if it's ever had a timing belt put in it. Uh, she just basically got in it and drove it. She has an, since gotten another car, so this one just sits. So what I'm going to do 
is go ahead and put the spark plug back plug wires back on and we're going to start the car because we wanted to see if it held a charge overnight and uh, at that point I think I'll get the car out of here if it does start otherwise I got a little bit of work ahead of me to do so there we go now let's see if it'll start Hey, there we go. Start it up. I'm going to let it warm up, and that's going to be about it for this video, guys. So if you like this kind of content, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. I do answer questions. Uh, leave a question below, you know. Uh, just let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And I will answer you. Uh, sorry, I keep rambling the same thing over and over again. But uh, uh, anyway, there you go. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.